just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and I am getting ready for work. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have scrubs on today, it's because the students don't have school today or tomorrow or Monday. Teachers still have to go. And today is an in-service, so I get to dress down and I get to wear my hair down. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but the school rules, general assistant instructors, is to wear your hair up. And, of course, you have to wear scrubs because you're trying to be example to the students and show them you know how it's going to be in the once they get into practice so yeah so anyway i'm just getting ready for work and um about to make my coffee and head on down the road all right everyone i am on my way to work well, i'm not sure what they do at the in service but i'll find out but i heard one of the other instructors said it's going to be training or some sort and they hired other instructors, but I'm kind of nervous about today because I don't like to be put on the spot, which, hello, I'm about to be an instructor, so if that's not being put on the spot, I don't know what is. The day before yesterday, I had homework, and this is a horrible angle. Oh my goodness, sorry, I really can't do anything about this. Anyway, so the day before yesterday, I had homework, and so then the next day, yesterday, when I went to work, I got up, did my normal routine, getting ready, and I got sidetracked. And I got gas in the car, got halfway to work, and completely forgot all of the papers and everything that I needed to bring. And I was debating, should I just go ahead and go and tell them I forgot it? And I'm like, no, I can't do that. It was 7.30, mind you, I start work at eight o'clock. Um, so I turned around, made a mad dash for home, and I was so panicking, and I'm like, you know, please don't let me be late. I made it there by the skin of my teeth at exactly 8 o'clock, which I don't like to do in this position because we are supposed to get there earlier than the students so they can see that, you know, to be an example, put it that way. And good thing I'm still in training right now. I wasn't actually in a class, but... I still was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I walked into this building at 8 o'clock. At least I wasn't late, and the way we clock in is similar to what I use at Dr. Gray's office, but the same process. So I clocked in on my phone as soon as I walked in, and with theirs, it's different. So with Dr. Gray, on his app, I can clock in if I'm in the car. If I'm at home, I wouldn't do it, but that's how theirs is set up. But this job now... You have to be on their Wi-Fi to clock in, or of course you can clock in on the um, on the computer on the app there. But I clocked in as soon as I walked in and got under their Wi-Fi. I clocked in, so yeah, it's a little warm already. So I didn't have to bring everything that I normally bring, like textbooks and whatever I do have what I need today so I don't have to turn around and go home which is a good thing private colleges now and I know when Cheyenne when she went to school for a dental assistant she was able to also get an iPad so it comes with the student's tuition they get an iPad and you know that's theirs completely they're supposed to use it to help them in class it has their textbook on it of course they get an actual textbook but you know stuff like that so with my job now it's the same the students get an iPad 
and the instructors get an iPad, so they gave me an iPad yesterday. But I'm sure with me, it'll be different. With the students, when they're gone and done, the iPad, they get to keep it. I'm pretty sure if I ever left, I would have to return the iPad to them. So I don't see why they would have me keep it. They opened it because I had to be assigned an iPad. So yeah, I don't know. I'll find out one of these days when I leave or when someone else leaves or whatever. And I'm saying I'm when I leave because I don't have any plans on leaving right now, but I still, I think I told you guys this, I still want a state job or a job at Kaiser because the benefits are way better. And with the state job and stuff like that, it's a process to get into. So it's nothing that I can apply and hear from them in a week or call them and be like, did you get my resume? They just take their time. All right, you guys, so I am on my way home from work. It is so hot out. Today, the in-service, I think, went well. The majority of the time, they were talking to us about what to do if there's an active shooter, which unfortunately, this is the reality that we live in, in this sick and twisted world. So they were saying the main three, the three main things you do is you try to run, get out the building, on your way out, try to get people to go with you, but don't waste time. If they're panicking and don't wanna go, you know, save yourself and whoever you can take with you, basically. Um, and then once you get out, call 911 because the 30 seconds that you take to call 911, I don't know about you guys, but in some areas, when you call 911, you get put on hold. You don't get one to answer right away. So during that time that, you know, you're taking the call 911, the gunman can come up to you and shoot you. And so, so you run, and if you can't run and get out, try to find a place to hide. And it's really scary. Uh, the videos that they showed us today, I mean, anything can happen anywhere, not only at a school, but at a mall. They just had a mall shooting, what, three weeks ago somewhere? Things can happen anywhere, I get that. But it's just scary to think of it. But so run, <laughs> hide, and if you're in a place where you can lock the door, turn the lights off, maybe the person would think that the no one's in there or whatever, and to keep going and turn your, they said, if you're hiding, turn your volume on your phone down and your lights on your phone, turn that way down. And yeah, and what's the last one? Um, fight. So if you can't run out the building, if you can't hide, you have to fight for your life. And it's kind of scary when you think about it, but I don't think I'm gonna let someone shoot me. I mean, I'm probably gonna grab whatever I can and who's with me, you know? Let's get this, I don't know. I pray that I'm never in that kind of situation, but that was the majority of the day was spent. They did give us breakfast and coffee, which was donuts. I didn't have any because I didn't really want any donuts. Um, but I did have coffee and then the director over the dental program, she bought a Starbucks, so well, that was later. So I got a pink drink from Starbucks and lunch was provided for us today. And then we went over some housekeeping things, learning more about how to use the clocking in and clocking out system on your phone or on the computer and what else? And then after that, the lights went out for like 30 minutes and we were about to go home and then it came back on. So no big deal. So after that, we all went out to each department and department head separated and whatever the director of whatever department you're working in, um, like for me, the director of the dental, she went over stuff that she needed us to know. So that was basically my day. So easy, no students and yeah. Bible study is at my house tonight and Savannah already started cooking the food for it it's about it, I would say it's about whatever time I'm looking right at the, right at the clock it's 4 20 um, it starts at 7 so the house is clean um, I just had them clean their bathroom I don't clean their bathroom at all that is their responsibility to clean their bathroom I do go in there every now and then to do a check just to make sure there's nothing living on the walls or on the seats or whatever that will never come out or come off. But other than that, their bathroom is their responsibility because I don't use their bathroom. I don't know why 
I'm telling you guys this. I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah, let's get home and get things ready for Bible study. Hello everyone. It's the next day. Vlog fail from yesterday. Just had Bible study and that was basically it. I came home, got everything ready and Bible study. That was it. So anyway, today is Friday and apparently I'm home from work. Um, I got a bunch more stuff, lesson plans um, to start learning. I do know what module I'm going to be teaching. It's the introduction to dentistry. They said this one is the easiest for new instructors to learn. That's what they're going to start me on. And I think a new class starts on Thursday next week. So I might just get thrown in, you guys. Did you hear that, Savannah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Savannah and I are actually about to start watching the third season of 13 Reasons Why. Sometimes I don't know why I continue to watch this show because it's like the first season was so good. Didn't we stay up all night to watch it when it first came out? We fell asleep, yeah. But then we watched the second season and how are they making another season off this? But they took it on a different path, a different story, whatever. Yeah, and the main character is not alive. The They're going to keep showing flashbacks because she's dead. So, anyway, that's what we are about to watch now. And just relax. And, yeah, Boston, you have anything to say? Want to say something? Want to say something? Say hello? Say hello? No? Okay. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It is 10 minutes after 7. I'm up. I'm dressed. I've already been out, but I'm about to hop in the shower because I should have vlogged earlier, but I got up so early. So today at my church, um, the married couples are going to San Francisco for a day outing. And if you guys remember a while back, we watched three of the children of one couple before. So we have two of them today. We went pick them up. Um, we met halfway. And we have the baby here and the son. And of course, I'm not going to show their face. So when I do show them, it'll be blurred out. All right, you guys, so I am showered and changed. Why did I turn the light on? I don't know. Anyway, so it was funny when I was getting the baby out of the car, Savannah goes, mom, what's taking you so long? And I'm like, okay, all these new car seats and the car seat is separate from the part that you leave in the car they didn't have that when my kids were babies so i'm trying to figure out how to work everything and she's like you're a little rusty aren't you i'm like <laughs> be quiet it's been 17 years since i had to deal with baby baby things all right so let's go out to where the kitties are so we're trying to figure out how to open this because we have a, how old is my, how old is he, three, four? He's here, and they bought his chair to sit in the chair, and y'all, I do not know how to work this thing. He may not use it. Okay, so I figured it out, and it's not for the four-year-old, it's for the baby. <laughs> so we are on the way to the neighborhood park. The baby is in the stroller, apparently, and little boy's up there. So we made it to the park, have the baby right over there, and the little boy, playing over there in the jungle gym is that a jungle gym she's such a sweet yes you are yes you are such a sweet baby so he wants us to call him captain because he is octonauts and i think it's a cartoon i don't know i'm not sure i don't have any more little little ones so yeah, y'all, I'm tired already, and it is only nine o'clock. <laughs> he is such an active kid, you guys. He's a good kid. He's just very, very active, and we love him. Ooh, y'all, it is five o'clock. I am so tired. It is quiet because they are taking a nap. I took a nap as well. Um, they're in the room with Savannah. <laughs> the baby, I accidentally scared her. I don't know what I did, but after she ate, I took her in the kitchen to wipe her mouth. My face feels really oily. Anyway, I took her in the kitchen to wipe her mouth, and she just started screaming and crying. I'm like, what did I do? So she didn't want to have nothing to do with me. So Savannah actually took her and 
got her to sleep or whatever so hopefully when she wakes up she forgets about whatever scared her i don't know i just i sat her on the counter i didn't walk away but i sat on the counter turned the water on to wet the towel and i wiped her face and then she started screaming so i don't know what was going on we checked her whole body making sure she didn't need a diaper change or nothing was poking her i don't know I felt so bad because every time she looked at me, she cried. And Savannah was all, she just doesn't like you. Like, but she liked me like 15 minutes ago. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here um, watching a bunch of kids shows because when the little boy wakes up, I don't want him to walk in hearing anything or whatever because, you know, our kids are a sponge and they pick up everything. So, yeah, just doing that. Baby hates me. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. I hope you guys don't slide around. I'm on my way to work, and I didn't vlog anymore on Saturday once the kids left because I was so exhausted. I don't know how I did that three times, you guys, meaning having kids three times, because there was that one point that they were all like five and under. But when it's your own kids, you raise them differently and just, you know, whatever. And I'm not saying it's a bad way that they're raising their kids. It's, they're not. It's just that the little boy has so much energy. And <laughs> it's funny because I put a video up on either Snapchat or um, Instagram of him jumping around. And one of you guys commented and said, bed and bath. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So I found out with the baby, when I told the mom, the parents, what was going on, I said, you know, she was fine. And then after I fed her, I wiped her mouth and then she just started screaming and crying. And they said that she's teething. And I don't know, maybe I wiped her mouth too hard. I don't think I did. I guess she associated pain with me. So she didn't want nothing to do with me. They said she was fussy last night. And then at church, she I heard her being fussy. So it wasn't me. <laughs> I felt better, but bad for her. And I held her yesterday at church and she seemed to be okay. She looked at me like, hmm, I think I remember you, but she wasn't crying too much. I only held her a little bit, then gave her back. So yeah i was exhausted so was savannah and whew, yeah let's say it's monday yeah it's funny there's no students today i'm still dressing in uniform i just i am they didn't say we had to they didn't say we didn't have to i don't know so i don't have my own desk or office or anything like that but i do have a cubicle area okay so i don't know if i told you guys but there's an instructor that's leaving and when once she leaves then i am going to get her cubicle so it's not an office area the teachers just have cubicles and they're fairly decent sized cubicles but i mean it is what it is whatever so once she leaves i will get her cubicle they actually have me working in another workstation or the teachers are really nice i can't even hear myself talk to you guys the teachers the instructors are really nice so a lot of the dental assistant instructors they tell me oh when you need to use my desk you know when i'm not there you know go ahead and use it so i do so they've been really nice about that um i am going to bring my camera in today because the students aren't there to try to like when i'm on break or if i'm ever alone Maybe not in the hallway because school's information is like plastered all over the walls, whatever. So, I don't know. I will try to give you guys just a little sneak peek of my new workplace. And, yeah. So, we finished 13 Reasons Why, the third season. And I know the show got a lot of, like, negative publicity and stuff like that. But they deal with a lot of real life, real issues that kids go through unfortunately you know with the suicide and peer pressure and rape and just I mean they deal with a lot of stuff that people don't really like to talk about I think maybe they should not have shown in the first season if you guys haven't seen it spoiler alert <laughs> but well you guys know someone dies because it's 13 reason why she committed suicide but I don't think they should have showed it as much as they did that got pretty dark but I don't know 
and it was pretty good and just when I thought that there wasn't going to be a fourth season another spoiler alert the way it ended it left room for maybe a fourth season I think they should just leave it alone because the way they wrap things up people are starting to heal and get their voice back and be heard and stuff like that I think they should just leave it alone Hey everyone, so I'm back home from work and I wasn't able to show you much even though there were no students there today because where I was sitting in my cubicle, um, as you can see the walls are just bare right now. I haven't even put anything up. They had another person in the cubicle next to me so if I was going to start talking she'd probably be like, what's going on? Why is this lady talking to herself? Plus I wouldn't be able to show much anyway because of the school name is like plastered everywhere so yeah home now i'm gonna shower change and relax so it's much later i'm just in my room going over a few things that i just need to study so you guys so today is monday and on thursday a new class starts right a new class starts every month so Guess who's getting their own class? Yeah, I was told that I was going to be training and shadowing from six to eight weeks. Well, that's not the case anymore. They do need teachers, so I'm actually going to go through my phone book and see from my old jobs who would like to teach as an instructor. I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous and at first they told me that i had 10 kids Did that the doorbell at first they told me i had 10 students and then later on they said i had four so i don't know i need to see what's the real number at least it's not 25 students or something like that but with dental you can only have so many students to an instructor and it's also the same thing with um like when you're teaching them things like in the lab stuff like that so yeah i'm going to have my own class on thursday yes All right, bye, good night. Uh, where are you going oh you guys today savannah started college she's officially a college student she here. okay so this is dinner we ordered from what's it called el el for restoro wait <laughs> Whatever this place is called, wherever, whatever it's called, that's where we ordered from. And I got fish tacos, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Savannah got chicken tacos and shrimp tacos, and I think Cheyenne got the same thing. And here's Savannah picking apart her food. Yep, she got the same thing. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm getting ready for work. You guys, I fell asleep so early last night. I didn't continue vlogging. I was just studying up some things I needed to know um, as far as being an instructor. And I fell asleep. So I'm in line for McDonald's, gonna get my coffee. So the school has very strict rules on eating and drinking in the classroom. And it's because when you get out into the field, when they get out into the field, you can't go in the dental office eating and drinking, even if it is water. So they're not even able to have water in there. So we have to be an example. So I still have my coffee. I can have it at my cubicle, but because I'm not in my cubicle often, um, I've just been drinking my coffee at home and I'm actually gonna try to drink it all before I go in today. And they need to hurry up because I need to get going. Okay, friend. Can I get a large coffee, um, black with seven and seven? That is not black. Okay. And that will be it. Do you want to eat the first one up? Thank you. That may sound like a lot, seven and seven, but I've seen how they put it in there. The creamer will be perfect, but the sugar will not be so... I'm still going to ask for extra sugar when I get up there. I told you guys that I'm going to be starting my own class. Uh, I feel so nervous. But the good thing about it, they're new to dental. They're 
fresh and brand new so if I make a mistake they won't know but I don't want to make a mistake because and when I say mistake I don't mean telling them the wrong thing because I know my stuff I just mean like mistake as far as teaching I don't know I don't know I am nervous every time I think about it I get like not a sickening feeling in my stomach but like I can't explain it it's not a panic it's just like not anxiety I don't know I just get this weird feeling in my stomach like oh but I know I can do this you guys I, and I've actually been helping out with the students clinicals with their labs Honestly. you too thanks I should have said no receipt all right I'm gonna pull over to the side put in my sugar and then head to work see the color is always perfect but the sugar never is on Facebook I am in like just a bunch of different Disney groups my all-time favorite one the admin her name is Ebony and she's actually in Disney World right now and she's been posting little pictures here and there and I've been following like her um, post when it's almost ready and she showed a picture of her luggage the night before and now I'm so jealous I'm happy for you Ebony if you're watching this when you come back hey girl I'm jealous I'm on my way to work and you are in Disney World right now <laughs> so yeah this makes me want to plan another trip to Disney World and I'm actually gonna watch our Disneyland vlogs no our Disney World vlogs from last year if you guys haven't seen that make sure you check it out I'll try to remember to leave a link to it in the description box we had so much fun that was our first time ever to Disney World. It was my kids' first time flying. I flew before. So, yeah, you'll get to see their reactions when they were on the plane. Shina, Savannah, you've seen their reaction in their face. And Tyreek's more like me. When he's nervous or afraid of something, he kind of shuts down. And that's kind of what he did on the plane. So, that was amazing. I caught that on video also. So, you guys definitely want to check that out. So yeah, Ebony, I'm jealous of you. So this is the book that the students are using, but this is the teacher's edition. This has all the answers in it, everything for their homework, quizzes, stuff like that. I am actually going to be trained to teach CPR. I am so excited because I can actually get a side job doing that somewhere else. And yes, CPR. So I'm gonna be a CPR instructor as well. Yeah, because they have to have CPR and dental. Yeah, Savannah's in here if you guys didn't know. So yeah, so I'm going to get their packets together because I'm gonna have to hand them out a bunch of paperwork and like I said, do my little mock lecture. And yeah, you guys, that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, you guys, it is 10.17. I spent the whole evening pretty much going over lesson plans. Um, pulling out all the paperwork that I need to give to the students trying to prepare myself I probably should have had one of my kids listen to me so they can critique critique me but I didn't uh, yeah and just going over everything that I need and I would rather be over prepared than under prepared and get in class and be like well uh, I don't know mm -hmm. 